It is unnatural in a large field to have only one shaft of wheat, and in the infinite universe only one living world. Tilda Metrodorus of Chios, Greek philosopher, 4th century BCE. The outer solar system harbors various enticing satellites that could potentially harbor life. But scientists opine that the best place in our solar system to search for a second tree of life is on Mars. What if we find life on Mars? Since ages humans have dreamed of other worlds and ruminated on the possibility of finding an extraterrestrial life. At the first communication with Extraterrestrial Intelligence Conference, in 1971, organized by Carl Sagan, it was reported that, it is not unlikely there are civilizations in advance of our own elsewhere in the galaxy, and that we have means currently at our disposal to detect them. Though Sagan had done scanning of nearly 1,000 stars, to find existence of any advanced civilization, so far they've found no significant traces of intelligent life. So, without abandoning the hope, they shifted their goal to find trace of any life, not only just the intelligent variety. Rather than just tuning in for radio waves broadcast by advanced alien civilization, researchers have opted to tune into an alternate frequency, that of fluid water. Astronomers have long hypothesized that Mars' furrowed surface indicates the presence of liquid water for a long time. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Giovanni Schiaparelli and Percival Lowell saw linear channels. Numerous researchers portrayed the occasional wave of darkening that concurred with the development of dynamic blues and greens spotting the red planet's surface in the late spring, which was proof of a functioning Martian biosphere awakening every year. Searchers of inaccessible living things presently utilize the presence of fluid water as a first-order filter in their chase for life. That is on the grounds that water is the best tracer for life we as of now know about. But David Flannery, a research fellow at Queensland University of Technology who is involved in NASA's upcoming Perseverance rover mission, is specifically looking for evidence of a native Martian biosphere. Flannery says, if there was life there four billion years ago, it seems reasonable to assume that we might have a vestige of it today in a protected refuge. In 2018, NASA's astrobiology program awarded Johnson and an international team comprising researchers a $7 million grant to find out an answer. Today, Johnson leads the new laboratory for agnostic biosignatures, which she describes as an effort to understand life as we don't know it. Johnson's lab is in looking to find ways to detect life that might not play by Earth's genetic rulebook, which is almost like learning to speak a language one has never heard of. If there is life on these alien worlds, there's a good chance that it will be significantly different from our own. The discovery of an extraterrestrial life, if ever happens, just might give us the perfect opportunity to take a step back from our earthly divisions, constraining us to re-evaluate our cacophonous voices into a singular, planet-wide harmony.